All right, now we're going to get started. What we have here is a piece of polystyrene foam. This is just standard household insulation that uh, uh, is used in residential construction. For our purposes, it's uh, an inch and a half thick and approximately nine inches wide, actually wider than we really need in order to make the, the uh, uh, wing that we're making here. You'll notice that we've got a couple of templates. Uh, I believe that you can see that it's uh, numbered on the top and on the bottom. It's made out of uh, formica, a plastic laminate that you would use on countertops. And the purpose of this, and we also have another one on the other end here that's identical, a mirror image of it. The purpose of this is so that we can take a hot wire, which we'll show here in a little bit, and we can actually follow the top and the bottom of this template and one person on one side can be calling out the numbers uh, as we progress along here so that we can keep pace. It's very important that we keep pace, otherwise if one person leads or lags, the, the, the core will curve from one template to the other. We need it to be perfectly straight. Uh, the template is held on with duplex nails uh, so that you can push them in and pull them out very, very easily. And, uh, and that's basically the setup with one exception here. You need to make sure that it's lined up perfectly from one side to the other in terms of the cord line. It has to be parallel to the bottom. The reason for that is we don't want this thing to twist because as we load it, it's got a twist built into it. The wing will twist as, it load, as it's loaded and it will fail early. So what we're going to do next is we're going to demonstrate the, uh, the actual foam cutting process. Okay, what we have here is the foam cutting apparatus. It's pretty simple. All it is is a couple pieces of steel tubing, uh, approximately 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. We have a piece of 2 by 4 that's a suitable length for the, for the airfoil. And we have some 35 thousandths uh, safety wire that is strung in between uh, the two steel tubes. We then take a vice grip and we tension, tension it until you can, you can pluck it like an instrument and the, the uh, tone will go up. Eventually though, it'll, regardless of uh, whether you tighten it more uh, or not, it will pull the same tone. So you keep tightening it until that tone uh, stays the same. Then what we do is we hook up our power supply. A power supply is pretty straightforward. It's a uh, 12 volt, 6 amp battery charger. And what we've done is we've installed a uh, dining room dimmer switch. Uh, between the transformer and the and the, the 120 outlet. What this enables us to do is turn it on, turn it off, and we can vary the, as you can see on the dial there, we can vary the amount of power that's going to the to the uh, phone cut. And what you want to do initially is you want to take a piece of foam and you want to see how fast it cuts. And essentially, uh, how long the amount of time that it should take to cut about an inch is uh, about four seconds. And my able assistant has since got a piece of foam, and we'll just give it a try here. Okay, that's pretty slow. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it up, and it's going to take a few seconds for the temperature to stabilize. But as you can see right about there, we've got 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. That is about right, right there. Okay, we're ready to cut form. Okay, um, as you can see on the end here, we've got a nail that is stuck in the leading edge here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the wire, feed it down from the top, and rest it on that nail. Then we're going to come in to the leading edge and then immediately start, start going over the top like this. Okay, uh, what I will do as we start cutting into, or as we come down to the nail, I'll go nail and then in, leading edge, and then we need to keep moving uh, in concert here, very coordinated manner. I'll be calling quarter, half, three quarters, one, quarter, half, three quarters, two, and so forth out the back. In the end here, what we got is a little bit of a uh, kicker down here, that we're going to use the actual trailing edge, the bottom, curvature of the airfoil comes up through here and that's the actual trailing edge right there. This space right here gets filled with a mixture of cotton fiber and epoxy to form the trailing edge. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the, the foam cutter 
and maybe we want to get her on this side right here. We're going to start right at the top, about three of an inch in, good. And ready, and go. Down, and I'm on the nail now, stop, okay, ready? You're on the nail, okay. And then in, and I'm on the leading edge now, and up. Quarter, half, three quarters, one. You only want to go as fast as the wire wants to go. Half now, three quarters, two, quarter, half, three quarters, three, quarter, half, and in the slot. Okay, now, this slot is where we're going to build up the spar. So this also gives us a, a spot to sort of just take a little break here and get ourselves together for the next uh, next part of the, uh, the operation. So we're gonna, I'm going to start at four, and let's hold it up just a little bit more so that we can use the weight of the, uh, the bow to hold it down against the template, which is really critical. So I'm at four, quarter, in, half, three quarters, five, quarter, half, three quarters, and six, quarter, half, three quarters, and seven, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Quarter, now we're gonna, we've gotta to get to that point right there, I'm at half, I'm at three quarters, and eight, I've got to get to that point before we go downward, quarter, half, three quarters. You gotta to get to that point at the same time. Nine, okay, so Josh, you gotta be careful here. How's the pace? Then a quarter, I'm at half, three quarters, and I am at ten now and down. Quarter, half, three quarters, eleven, I'm down, and quarter. Half. Now we're going to stop at that corner of the template. Three quarters and stop there. Now we need to stop there for a few seconds so that the wire can catch up and then we just go straight up. And that weight on the top may. Got it? Okay, good. So, what we do now is make sure that you're not setting the, the hot wire on anything at the uh, that's going to be a problem as far as the concerned. Pull that off, and you can see that you've got a really a pretty good core here. Um, got a little bit of a place right here where uh, I came up again, or away from the temple a little bit, and as we slowed down, you can see that I left a little grooves here, but really that's, that's a very, very good core. Now, we're not going to go through how you do the other side because it's just simply a, a continuation. What you would do is you would take the leading edge piece right here and simply turn it over, make sure everything's lined up. And by the way, the reason that we have this other foam block underneath here is so that we can, uh, that lined up with this? Yep. Yeah. is so that we don't have a problem with the, the wire cutter, or the pipe uh, being uh, coming into conflict with the bench. So we would just simply do the same thing come underneath here and repeat the process that we did on the top. Okay.